Hello Cancer, welcome to a love reading. This is going to be a reading all about who or what is coming towards you in love, what do you need to know about them, and where is it all headed. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone 100%. So keep that in mind, not every reading is for you. Uh, if this does not resonate at all, check out my playlist for Cancer. It's linked in the description box. Just take what resonates for you, applies for your situation. All right, let's see. Spirits, angels, guides for Cancer. Who or what is coming towards Cancer in love? Who or what is coming towards Cancer? Okay, we have patiently waiting. Tied up. Can we get one more for Cancer? Who or what is coming towards Cancer in love? unexpected event that's like my tower card in this deck hmm someone feels trapped stuck burdened you're feeling trapped in a situation and are looking for a way out patiently waiting for the right time possibly there's definitely some sort of tower that's going to be happening here okay so let's see what this means cancer for cancer spirit Who or what is coming towards them in love? Cancer. Who or what is coming towards cancer in love? Who or what is coming towards cancer? Okay, we have the Page of Wands. Some sort of... Um, Start here, message initiation, taking some sort of steps. Seven of Cups. Or what is coming towards Cancer? Or what is coming towards Cancer? Someone's trying to figure something out here with the Seven of Cups. And then Judgment. Making a judgment call, perhaps. I have the Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this could be somebody um, waiting for the right time to go on some sort of personal journey, uh, leave a situation behind. Someone could have walked away in the past and the other person's kind of waiting for them. But with a judgment card, I don't know, it could be that because it could be that somebody wants some sort of revival or resurrection. It could also be somebody making a judgment call. Whatever this judgment is, I feel it's tied to this tower. So we'll see. Let's start with the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? Justice, Libra Energy, and the Ace of Swords. So this is some sort of message, but I'm also getting like truth, clarity here with the Ace of Swords. Um, I have the Fool at the bottom of the deck. Someone here could be making some sort of logical decision with the Ace of Swords and Justice. Um, this could be some sort of communication about rebalancing a situation, making something right here. This could be a legal decision as well. And then I have the Fool at the bottom of the deck. Can I get one more for the Page of Wands? Tell me more about the Page of Wands, please. Why is the Page of Wands here? Ace of Wands. Wow, we have two aces. So definitely um, this is going to lead to some sort of new beginning or set someone on a path forward. Can I get one more for this Ace of Swords? Someone could be using this sword to cut something out of their life. Tell me about this Ace of Swords spirit. The Hermit. Hmm, this is clarity. This is answers. Virgo energy here with the Hermit. This is someone listening to their intuition. Seeking answers. Trying to figure their next steps here. This could be you or your person. 
I do feel like someone's trying to figure something out because I have the Seven of Cups here. What is the Seven of Cups about? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Knight of Wands. Seven of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. King of Cups. It's reminding me of this Hermit. They look very similar to me. Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck and the Devil. Hmm. It's very interesting because I feel like it's almost like someone, this decision, someone has to fight back or be firm or be bold with the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Wands. There's determination here. Um, this is someone standing firm. Taking action. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Swords with the Devil, Capricorn Energy. So once again, it's like some sort of truth or message that possibly will help someone that feels tied up or restricted or bound here with the devil. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands here. Could be dealing with a Virgo, a Libra, a water sign, a fire sign. Four of Swords. Three of Swords. Hmm. Pain and healing, basically. Heartbreak. There could be resistance here by someone who has been heartbroken in the past. And maybe this person wants to kind of fight for this. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. The Fool, yeah. They want something new here. And then I have the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is very interesting. Let me clarify the Judgment card to see if we can get a bit more clarity here. I'm starting, it's starting to, the story is starting to build here. Tell me about Judgment. The sun. Strength, Leo energy. Five of cups. Queen of pentacles, king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel what I'm, from what I'm picking up here, some uh, a person i think this is the person coming towards you and that you've been waiting for in some way whether it's at the back of your mind or you know i feel like you've been waiting for this person or have had faith in something here um someone's taking some sort of action and this action i feel is tied to a past situation with the five of cups let me get some insight here tell me about the five of cups there's clarity. There's this awakening that someone is having with the judgment card, with the sun. Um, someone's seeing things very differently that are related to the past. Tell me about the five of cups. Nine of pentacles. Tell me about the five of cups. The chariot, cancer energy. The wheel at the bottom of the deck. Wow. I feel like there's some sort of disappointment and or regret. And there you are, Cancer, with the chariot. I feel like someone wants to move forward here um, towards a path. And I feel like this is you, Cancer, with the nine of pentacles. Something is missing for this person. I feel like they have everything but love. This could be you or them. But with the chariot, it's I'm getting like someone that's making some sort of move towards you, Cancer. And I feel like they're doing this 
in, in, you know, in the right time because right now they're kind of stuck with the hangman. I feel like this is going to require some sort of courage with the strength card here. And I feel like this is an ongoing message for cancers. Like I keep getting this message for you guys. Tell me about strength, Spirit. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is some sort of offer being brought to you here. And it's like there's a new beginning that someone wants or desires with the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. The fool that came out here. There's two knights here and another one that showed up. So I feel like in the page of, Pen of Wands. So I feel like this is somebody that wants to talk to you, wants to approach you. Um, but for some reason, there's like something that needs to be healed here. With the Three of Swords, Four of Swords. Like there was, you know, communication that was cut off or something. But someone here still has emotions tied to this with the King of Cups. There's love here, despite the, the difficulty. Now with the Four of Swords here and the Hermit, which now I see them side by side, I feel like someone who has kind of been doing some serious thinking and reflecting here about this connection, about what they want to do next, about maybe the risk they need to take, the fighting that they have to do to get whatever they want. So let's get some insight into this person. What do we need to know about this other person, Spirit, for Cancer? What do we need to know about this other person that is or will be coming towards Cancer? What do we need to know about this person? Bad health. What do we need to know about this person? I want another one. What do we need to know about this person? Wealthy man. I'm thinking of the King of Pentacles there. And then we're about to help. Yeah, this is someone that probably isn't doing so well with the Four of Swords and the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. I feel like this could be their energy. Tell me more about this person. Spare, what do we need to know about this person that Cancer is or will be dealing with? honest sincere and genuine okay so th this person is possibly having some sort of honest conversation with you here bottom of the deck i have creative so this could be them trying to figure it out you know especially with the seven of cups i instantly thought about the seven of cups i still don't know what this tower is about i feel like this tower is possibly like them having some sort of revelation or or opening up about something here but with the creative card, I feel like this person is trying to think of the best way to tell you something. Um, so let's see. Let's see if I'm right about that. Let's move all these. Let's see what the tarot says. Um, Give me some insight into this person. What do we need to know about this person that Cancer is or will be dealing with? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? Can you give us some insight, please. This person could have a good job. They could care about money or flaunt their money, or maybe they are well off. But something's up with them with the bad health card. They're, they're not doing well emotionally, I feel. Um, I'm also getting that this person appears to be good on the on the outside, but isn't really. What do we need to know about this person? King of Cups and the Three of Swords, exactly. This person is not doing well. Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here, or someone that just really cares about you. But I feel like deep down they're they're heartbroken or dealing with some sort of difficulty. Emotionally, this person isn't doing very well. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Can I get one for the Three of Swords, please? We have the Page of Wands. Again, tell me about this uh, Three of Swords. Ace of Swords. Yeah, they want to tell you about what they feel here. 
about whatever difficulty this is. It's almost like they want to open up about their pain. Tell me about the Three of Swords. About their heartbreak. Their heartbreak. Yeah, the world. It's like this person wants another chance or another cycle to begin for them. Maybe they, they, they just want to close a chapter here. Have justice at the bottom of the deck. And then the Five of Wands. So I feel like there's there's some sort of conflict drama here. And it's almost like this person wants to close this chapter, um, have something more balanced. Perhaps things aren't, you know, very balanced for them right now. Where's all of this headed? Spirit, where's all of this headed? What's next for this connection? This person definitely wants to communicate. That That is for sure. Where's all of this headed, Spirit, for Cancer and this other person in the near future? Where is all of this headed? The Ace of Wands, okay. Where is all of this headed? For Cancer. Where is all of this headed for Cancer? Eight of Cups. There's Eight of Cups again. Where is all of this headed? For Cancer and this other person, what do we need to know? Seven of Pentacles. There's that patiently waiting or waiting card. Someone's walking away from a difficult situation or a diff uh, situation that they've done everything they could do. Um, and now it's like they're thinking about a whole other beginning here with Ace of Wands. There's doubt about the future. There's an uncertainty about how something will end up or how something will succeed. And, you know, it's like there's there's possibly a little bit of doubt, but I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles and I have the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, someone's still going to make an effort. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. What's this eight of cups about spirit for cancer? Ten of pentacles. What's this eight of cups about? Queen of Wands. Interesting. What's this? King of Wands. <laughs> okay. I have the Magician at the bottom of the deck with the Ten of Swords. This is someone that I feel is leaving another commitment or leaving something behind here. And they're manifesting this or you're manifesting this. They're making this happen. They could be leaving a good job. They could be leaving a family. Can I get one more for the Eight of Cups? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be a third party situation that they're leaving. They could be leaving a job. Um, I feel like there's, they could be leaving something else, like a commitment, in order to work on something else, build something else elsewhere with the Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles here. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Now I have the honest, sincere, and genuine card here. So this is not somebody that is a manipulator. This is not somebody that um, is playing games here. Yep, Eight of Pentacles. This is someone that's working really hard, is very focused. This could be somebody that's being honest with themselves about how they're feeling and what truly makes them happy here. Yeah, this person's working on something but has no idea how it's gonna play out. I have the moon here, Pisces energy. It's like they're working and, and, and they're hoping for the best, but they're not sure. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Swords again. And then the Five of Swords, yikes. So there could be a very difficult situation coming to, to an end, a, a conflict coming to an end here. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. 
Now with the Eight of Pentacles, I'm, I'm also getting like this could take some time. Wow, Six of Cups came out. Yeah, it's like someone's been... um. This is tied to the past in some way or, or soulmate connection, past life connection. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Someone has been waiting a long time for this and is still hoping for the best, but it is not sure. Yeah, the lovers. This is about a very special connection. Look at this. The, uh, the lovers and Gemini energy here. I mean, can't really, can't really say more, much more than that. I feel like this is a soulmate connection that someone has been waiting for. Can I get one more for the Seven of Pentacles? Nine of Cups. Yeah, this is like someone's wish fulfillment. I have judgment at the bottom of the deck. I feel like a second chance is someone's wish fulfillment here or their biggest wish. It could also be that someone is um, having a personal awakening about what truly makes them emotional fulfi emotionally fulfilled, what truly makes them happy, what they desire most. And I think it's, a, it's this connection. After that, I have the hermit. Yeah, it's almost like their intuition is guiding them here. Um, Virgo energy. It's almost like they are awakening to some sort of big truth in their life and i feel like that's going to lead to a tower moment because i have the ten of um swords that keeps coming out here so can i get some insight into this unexpected event energy for cancer can i get some insight into this unexpected event energy tell us more sir Four of Cups. Yeah, someone's not happy, not satisfied. Tell me more about this unexpected event energy. Something's missing. Four of Swords. Yeah, someone's really reflecting. This is someone that's really thinking about, you know, where they're at right now, what's going on in their life. And I feel like this is going to lead to something. Can I get one more for this unexpected event? One more, please, Spirit. They're just not satisfied, not happy. And I feel like this is all they can think about. Tell me more about this unexpected event, energy spirit. Tell me more. Page of Pentacles. Oh, this could be a surprise offer. And then I have the Hierophant, font, the Ten of Cups at the, at the bottom of the deck. King of Swords, Eight of Swords, and Two of Cups after that. Wow. So there's, there's, there's someone that, that is going to communicate here. They're going to make you an offer. So basically, I feel like this is like a like an unexpected offer or surprise offer in some way here. Someone's not happy, not doing well. And I think it's because they're missing something, missing you or missing a connection like this that they, you know, it's like all they can think about is having this. And I feel like this is unexpected for you. The fact that this offer arrives. Um, maybe the fact that they're leaving something behind, a commitment behind. Maybe this is surprising to you, Cancer. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, if you enjoyed the reading, Cancer, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, leaving me a comment. All of that is a great way to support the channel for free. Excuse me. Um, I appreciate everyone who takes the time out of their day to leave me such a kind comment. Let me know if this resonated for you. Um, or just say hi. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.